there, arty friends. Um, I'm finally back with a little update on where I have, where I have been and what I've been doing lately. Um, probably the week before Christmas, I um, made the stupid decision, I don't know why, to rearrange my craft room. And so I got myself into a huge mess. And then um, when I moved everything around, I couldn't, my recording setup that I had didn't work anymore. So then I had to work out another way. And then it was Christmas. And um, yeah, so you can just imagine it's just been crazy, crazy nuts. But I have been, um, every spare moment I've had, I've been working on my December daily. So I have pretty much finished it. I haven't recorded any of it, so I do apologise. But um, I've pretty much finished it. I've only got Christmas Day to do. I just haven't worked out the photos I want to use yet because I have so many photos. And um, I haven't done the 21st of December because I haven't, I want to use a 6x8 photo and I, it hasn't shown up yet. I've ordered it and it hasn't arrived yet. So I will show you my, I'll give you a flip through on my December daily that I have at the moment. And then I'll probably be back either again today or tomorrow or before the weekend with um, a layout using my um, December Kidaholics kit, which I haven't even really looked at yet because I've been too busy with, Christmas and doing December daily because I really really wanted to get it finished because if I didn't it would just sit there and I'd never finish it I'm the type of person that has to do it all at once if I don't it never gets done it just gets put away and then it just sits there unfinished for the rest of its life so because I get distracted very very easily and start new projects so that's one of my down downfalls okay so here we go it's a bit chunky so this is my December daily he's ended up being really really chunky I'll show you What's the, the chunkiness can you, hope you can see that sorry about the lighting it's probably about um, eight o'clock in the morning here in Melbourne and uh, it's really really muggy still I don't mind it but I don't mind the heat, I just don't like it when it's really muggy. But So I'm sitting here, sorry if you can hear the fan, I have the fan on. Because um, my little craft room actually is on the side of the house that got all the sun, the last of the sun last night. So this is the room that's the most hot in the morning and the rest of the house is cold. So yeah, so it's a little bit muggy, really, really hot in, in this room. So. Anyway, back to December daily. So, you would have seen um, my process video for day one. That's my day one there. And um, with my December daily, most of my December daily, I've used the um, December documented kit from Kittleholics Kits. And I've just used some, I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff. So, I've just put out everything that I have and I've just used it tried to use it up in this album and I also just picked up some cheapy things from Cheapest Chips here in Australia. I got some stickers and um, Spotlight and um, I think that was it. Yeah. But they were just like cheapy stickers and stuff like that. So that's day one. That's day two. That's um, Well, day one's my um, Christmas tree, of course. Um, day two is, this is my daughter being silly, um, and I've called it Crazy Reindeer because she's a bit of a crazy girl. Day three is our decorations. I did struggle taking photos this year because my kids are old and they, they don't believe in Santa anymore. And so when it comes to Christmas stuff, they're just not really keen at all in doing anything. So... I did struggle trying to get photos, so that's day three. Um, day four, this was just um, a lazy day, just a lazy day we had. Um, this is just an insert I made. This um, 
this Christmas tree. Um, it was a it's a making memories one, and I've had it for like over ten years, and it's just been sitting in my stash forever. So I was determined to use it. So I just made like a little insert to go in there. Day five is my um, sweetie blossom, my pug. Day five, and I just enlarged that photo to a six by eight. There you go. And as you can see, I haven't used a lot of the pages. I haven't used page protectors. I'm not big on the Project Life and page protectors and little things and and stuff like that. I like, yeah. So I have used it, and I did actually quite enjoy it. To be honest, I did like using the little cards, but it just takes me that little bit longer, I guess, because it's so small. I think I don't know why. <laughs> um, but. This is day six. Um, our neighbours put up a really, really good um, Christmas lights display and my daughter fell in love with it. So we went down when they came on one night and took a photo. Um, this is just um, the tree because I didn't have any photos for day seven. So uh, I just did a close up one night of the tree, of the baubles on the tree. Day eight, this was my um, last day. At the moment, I am studying my Cert 3 in childcare. So this was my um, break up, Christmas um, breakup party for my school. So um, this is us going to lunch. And in here, there is a, a tag just with the description of what we had done. And there's a little tag. And... There's the description. And that is the picture because that day was so rainy and cold. And that is a, the picture of a building, of the building where my school is. I'll just put that back in. I can probably put the book down now because it might lay flat. This is, uh, oh, that's just the back of day eight. Hope you can see that. Um, this is my son who's going to be 18 in like three weeks and you know it's he's just 18 and it's freaking me out a little um, so it was just a nice little portrait I got him him sitting on the edge of the couch and I quickly snapped a photo and um, I just used it as a title please slow down even just a tiny bit because he's just growing so fast and he's like he's a man now and you know it's just, yeah, I don't know how, it's weird. It's just that weird feeling that you have. That I, have I have a man. My son's a man. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, so that's my son, Keenan. And day 10, I just did my shopping list. So I don't have a lot of people that I have to buy for at Christmas. Um, my family's very, very small. So that's why the list isn't <laughs> very big. So... And here's my daughter writing her letter to Santa. Um, yes, it's not real. Well, she did write down a little on a little note page that she what she wanted for Christmas, and so I made her write uh, rewrite it on a D Santa list for my December daily because I needed something. And um, so, yeah, so that's what I did with that. So it was originally written on another list and I printed out this um, picture, this piece of paper here for a letter with Santa and got her to rewrite it for me and just took a couple of photos and there's the um, list there. So, so it's kind of a fakey one but it's still, you know, a memory of her giving me her list. Um, Day 12 was my son's um, big day. We got his ATAR scores. So um, that was, we were up early that day waiting for them to come through on the computer. So that's that. Um, day 13, I didn't take any pictures. I completely forgot. So I've just made this filler, this filler card. Um, I've used vellum and I've just sewn some, you know, offcuts of the papers I've used through the book. 13, I got this idea off Pinterest. I can't remember whose it was, but just scrolling through Pinterest and I saw that and I thought, yes, that's what I'm going to do. That'll just do day 13. And then I don't have to worry about photos. 
Um, this page I haven't finished yet because this was tribal day at my daughter's school. And um, I honestly, to be honest with you all, I don't get what tribal day is. I don't understand it. I don't know why they do it. And they have all different teams. And Georgia, my daughter, was in the pink team. So I've got her to write me out what it's about. And I'm going to put it here. So I'll do get that done. Um, and this is um, day 15. This is teacher's gifts. Um, so this is where we give um, when they they have their class parties and we gave the teachers gifts for her teacher and That's another picture there. I haven't finished yet But I will be writing in this little pocket here on the gifts that we gave her teachers In that one um, I'll just quickly cover that actually because it's got her school on it. Um, this is her first and last day of school. So this was taken on December 16th, her last day. And that was her first day on the January 29th. So I thought I'd do a combination so we sort of had a reference to look back at. So that's that one. Um, day 17 was just her um, advent calendar. I just done a little one because it wasn't, you know, much of a photo. I just grabbed a quick photo of her opening it that morning, and so that was sort of it. I'll pull that. Um, day eighteen was um, got my daughter's bed got delivered. Um, this year she got a double bed, so she was pretty excited. And because we had to order it earlier and it got delivered early. Um, my husband and my son set it up early for her, so she got her present a week early. And that's the finished bed there. So that was day 18. Day 19, we did some last minute shopping out at Fountain Gate. Um, and Georgia didn't want to sit on Santa's knee. So I just managed to get that photo of her while we were out shopping. Day 20, oh, day 20 was quite funny. We had um, gone to, I'd taken um, stuff to the op shop and um, as we were pulling out of the op shop just on the side of the road, there was these ginormous um, Christmas decorations like that you use for shop fittings in supermarkets and stuff like, and they had the big baubles, like they were massive. You can see in the photo they were, you know, nearly as tall as Georgia and they were all just on the side of the road. They had big wreaths and stuff like that. And um, big giant presents, and there was people everywhere, and they're loading up their cars, are trying to get these huge um, Christmas decorations in their cars. And George and I thought it was hilarious, so we stopped, pulled over, and got out. And I just got pictures of her with the big um, decorations, and I um, just laughed at what people are going to do with these ginormous decorations. You wouldn't even be able to get them in your house. So I don't know why people were all fighting to get one but there you go so that was a highlight for the week um day 21 i have that photo i've got to print it printed out it's going to be a six by eight photo so i will probably record me doing that one um this is day 22 when i was wrapping all the presents for under the tree day 23 was um food shopping for me, I take, go out at night and do my food shopping for Christmas Day and um, Christmas Eve. Um, every Christmas Eve, um, the kids and my husband, they get a present from Santa and it's basically a pair of pyjamas. It's their Christmas pyjamas and they wear them that night. So um, my daughter gets um, a pair of pyjamas and my husband and my son, they get a pair of boxes each. And um, also Christmas Eve, the local fire brigade, they come around in the fire truck and throw out lollies. And um, every year they come down our street. So we always run out there and get a packet of lollies and thank the fire brigade for their um, the firemen for all their awesome work that they do throughout the year, keeping us safe. So, yeah, that's what we do on Christmas Eve. And, um, yeah, nothing really special Christmas Eve. So yeah, that's it. That's my December daily so far. 
Um, I hope you like it. I don't know, the number two came off. So it's very, very chunky. I might just fix this number two. Very, very chunky. Um, I don't know how I'm going to store it because I've still got two more pages to put in there. Um, I'm thinking I might have to just maybe tie it with a, a ribbon or something. I don't know. But I love the way it looks. I'm in love with that. I'm just, it's just so, to me that's just so pretty. So um, let me know what you think of my um, December daily. Um, if you'd like to know any details about what I've done in um, my December daily, just leave a comment below. And I want to thank you all for watching me in 2016. I only just started doing these videos a few months ago. And um, your support has really been amazing. And I'm really enjoying it. So if you'd like to see me come back in 2017, um, Please leave a, uh, me some feedback below. Give me some comments, ideas on things that you would like to see me do. I'm happy to try anything. I like messy things, as you can probably tell. I like being messy and a little bit different. Um, I don't sort of like to follow trends and stuff like that. Um, so if you want to know anything, if you want to learn anything, um, just, yeah, leave me a question below in the comments. And, um... Thanks for watching, so give me a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. See ya!